What's up, Mego fans? What's up, Batman fans? Welcome to MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today, and we'll be talking a little bit about Variant Tuesday. Variant Tuesday. We're going to be going over a variation of Batman's throughout the years. A character that I've definitely uh, have fallen in love with since I was a kid. Cool character. As a kid, didn't really know a lot about his history. Uh, you know, I grew up on the reruns of the 1966 uh, Batman TV show with Adam West and Burt Ward. So those were my that was my Batman and that was my Robin. But Batman goes way back, further back. Uh, I think he got his first big break in um, Discovery or created in 1939. And I believe he came out in, in 1940 in Detective Comics. And I, I, I might be off a little bit on that. That's, that's, that's straight off the top of my head, guys. <laughs> so if you got a comment, definitely uh, our, our Batman historians out there, our Mego historians out there, Definitely leave a comment under uh, underneath uh, the comment section and underneath this uh, video and um, help me out. You know, if you if you got more information for me that, hey, share the wealth. But uh, this is a very a variant that uh, Figures Toy Company came out with a while back. And uh, it was geared towards the Detective Comics Batmans. Um, the different, you know, you could see the, the cowl. He's got the, the re removable cowl. This is another removable cowl Batman. Cool. Another vinyl cape Batman. Let's get in. And to me, the selling point outside of his, the, the cool removable cowl and the vinyl cape is this bat emblem. The logo. Different. Very different. And I said, is that right? Is that is that historically correct for Batman? So I had to go back and I went out and I bought some old 1940s Batman serial movies. TV shows. And they were called serials back then. And uh, I had to freeze frame it and, and look. I said, yeah, that, that's accurate. That that This is a pretty cool bat. This is how the bat first look i mean this is the, the first bat logo on his chest and it, it it would change uh slightly you know within the next three or four years as the character uh picked up steam and popularity there's just a cool shot as you can see still got the oven mitts not the the black shorts but he's got the the blue shorts and as you can see at the bottom, he's got another backup logo if that one comes off. And I think this is, these are screen printed on the, on the chest. Here's a, get a shot of the character. You can see the old, I, I love this old style drawing. I would love to know who's the, uh, the artist. Whoever's the artist, I think he did Superman as well. Because I remember this this particular art artwork with Superman. So Batman logo at the top. And this is called the First Appearance series. And this is an exclusive variant from Figures Toy Company. Like I said, Figures Toy Company, they they just they're they're just going above and beyond the call of duty with these guys let's turn them around we'll be checking robin out and in, in some reviews down the road but it's all about batman today and his variants variant tuesday and here's my question i'm thinking out loud here guys these action comics and comics and detective comics will there be more variants we know that there's a variant batgirl because we covered her 
a while back in some reviews. And there's that, that flash that I would love for them to make. There's Wonder Woman. Is that Spectre? It's Hawkman. There's Superman and Supergirl. Just really cool. Just came out in 2015. Turn it around, back around. So this guy had, um, went through changes in the 40s. Uh, even in the, uh, the, the, the TV serial uh, shows that I was watching. And you actually can you can watch those on uh, YouTube, and actually we'll be carrying them uh, on the MIB Master Museum playlist. You'll be able to watch them on a playlist as well. They're they're, they're really cool. It, it gives you a good historical uh, explanation, if you will, of you know how Batman you know came to be and just. Uh, his grassroots so to speak you know because we're so stuck in the, the late 60s with that with the batman adam west you know batman existed way before then and it's just hard to grasp because adam west really owned that character to such a high degree and high level uh i mean it, he just he dominated that role and made it very difficult for us to see anything but him because that you know I'm 47 years old, and that's that was that was my Batman, and God rest his soul. Uh, we lost Adam West a little while ago, so I mean it's a true icon. He made the character fun. But with that being said, we do have another guest, and let me see if I could just. I need a cameraman. What do you guys think? I need a cameraman. <laughs> let's move this guy out the way and let's bring in a variant that kind of seems familiar to us that face that head sculpt this is another variant another variation of batman and this was more in the mid to late 40s and as you can see he modern he's become a little more modernized his um chest logo emblem I believe he has one down there as well they changed the belt though the belts blue and yellow as opposed to just being yellow and let's look at the character and once again just awesome awesome artwork yes he's an exclusive variant um, these figures as phenomenal as they are, they're, the prices for these guys are even better. When I first saw the release of these figures and they were talking about these figures being released, I looked at the price point and that really blew me away. $24 uh, for these, uh, these figures and maybe 30 Maybe thirty, thirty-one dollars shipping and handling combined, or something. So I mean, it's maybe thirty dollars out the door with shipping and handling. It, it depends, but for the most part, these guys are not that expensive, like the twenty-nine dollars, twenty-six dollars, and the thirty-eight, thirty-nine dollar uh, Migos Figures Toy Company Migos. These guys are fairly uh, inexpensive, and with the same quality. He said the paint's a little different there. The outfit's been altered slightly. But this was the first one I got because of, once again, because this is the head sculpt that I grew up with. So I got this guy first. And then I picked this guy out. Now this guy is sold out. Uh, his This product has been retired from Figures Toy Company. But you can get him on other, on other uh, sites like... Um, uh, Toycade, uh, Emerald City. You know, he's definitely on a secondary market now. So, 
those are some of the places you can you can uh, still buy this guy. So he's not completely sold out, but he's very popular. Um, you still can get this one. This one is still on Figures Toy Company. You can still buy this one offline from pretty much everywhere, uh, the, the places I just named. But this guy right here is a little, a little bit more difficult to, to purchase because he sold he came second and yet he you know he he's the first to go he's very popular and uh people gravitated to him i think because of the vinyl cape and the um removable mask so everybody wanted a removable mask batman and for 24 dollars 24.99 you can't beat that price you can get you a, a removable batman removable cow batman i'm sorry <laughs> so like I said, with that being said, this is um, just two great figures, two variants. Guys, we're doing it here on Variant Tuesday. We'll keep the variants coming at you. We're enjoying ourselves. We're having fun. I've been up all night. <laughs> I just got off work. But you know what? I work for you guys. I, I want to make you guys happy, so I'm I, I'm gonna keep these I'm gonna keep these cranking out. I mean, we're gonna keep them coming. We'll keep them uh going. We're gonna keep the fun going. This train's not gonna stop. I'll grab a couple cups of uh, coffee. I'm on my third cup already, <laughs> so we'll keep this going and have some more fun. But with that being said, let's get some some close-ups. We like to get the close-ups. For the collectors, just in case somebody's missing this guy and want to pick him up and add him to a, to their collection. Get you some good shots of him. Just a great outfit. And there's that logo, that extra logo down there, the cape. Nice cape. Regular cape. Like the one we had as kids for our Batman growing up. And... Here's the removable cowl Batman variant. There's that chest emblem. Oh. There's his emblem. There's the oven mitts. <laughs> there you go. Guys, thanks for the love and support. Appreciate all my subscribers for popping in, checking us out. Keep coming back. We got more in, in, in store. Lots more for Variant Tuesday. Guys, God bless. And as always, keep collecting.